So hello and welcome back to Popecraft Monster. Um, yeah, we've got a little bit of a special episode for you today because I have to relocate my base. I don't have to actually, but I want to relocate my base because if you have a look at my old base and have a look at the frame rate, yeah, the frame rate at spawn is as with all spawns, I suppose, because there are many people building. There's um, Redstone Junkyard there, there's Ikari around the back, who I've not shown you the base yet, but I will show you at a later date, and there is um, Arcadian building over there. It's getting a little bit of a clusterfuck, um, pardon my language, I've just realised. Um, but yeah, this is time roughly to move. So I've been scouting around for a little bit, and I have got this area all set up. So this episode is, because my voice is going a little bit, this episode is going to be a time-lapse video. Uh, I've unfortunately not got the stuff to properly do a time-lapse, but, you know, we'll see. We will see how this looks. Um, it's going to be a time-lapse, but not from above. It's going to be a building time-lapse. So I hope you enjoyed this different video. Um, be sure to tell me what you like about it or dislike about it in the comments, and I'll be, I'll be talking a bit after I've finished the build, of course, but... There we go. I'll see you in a little bit once I've finished this thing. All right.
yeah, welcome back. Uh, this base is pretty much finished visually. I just got a message. Hello. Um, so yeah, the base is pretty much finished visually. It was a lot of fun to make. I did end up doing the roof off camera because for some odd reason the recording crashed and yeah, not fun times. But each individual one of these was notches and the roof was a complete pain in the ass to make. Uh, I just ended up giving up on notches about halfway through. The only reason I was using notches is because, as you can probably see, where there are notches, uh, no mobs are spawning. However, in these, mobs can spawn. So that's the only reason I was using notches for the roof. Uh, yeah, that was... I did end up giving up halfway through that. But yeah, it's finished. And we're going to deal some deal with some visuals outside at a later date. For a moment, it's just, locking, it's just a house in a big field. It's looking very... Like, why, why would anyone visit here? It's just a house. It's quite literally an empty house and got damn thorns everywhere as well. So inside, let's have a look inside and turn F7 off. Inside, we do have a little bit of an entranceway with a purple wall. This is going to be the, pretty much the entranceway, the hallway. The It's going to have a few photos, on, pictures on the walls, probably a map. Just basically the nice room that everyone walks into. A very nice hallway. And why is that stuck open? I don't know. A uh, few linking books and uh, set up a linking book from the spawn hub that pretty much spawns you, whoop, come on, right about here. So you're just basically going to walk in and see this nice room, a couple of books back either way, and the main room. Now I don't particularly like the internals of this roof at uh, this back bit. Uh, they look a little bit generic, however if we turn around that is what I'm talking about. Have a look at that roof. It looks almost like it's almost like it's a special church type area. I don't know how we came out that awesome, but it did. Uh, a couple of stairways up. Uh, probably going to have a few machines back there, or maybe a chest and furnaces, some ovens or something like that. But I'm going to actually build a bit of a basement so that I can put some of my other machines in. Um, so yeah. I'm also not going to take over a little bed there. I thought that was a nice touch. Uh, we're going to probably not bring over all the chests because that would be a pain. Um, I'm thinking, I'm just thinking, we could set it. There is a way to set it up with tesseracts and stuff so that I can, uh, so that I can access the base remotely, and that would be a pretty good idea because that way we can keep all the lag and all the frame rates suffering machines over at spawn and have the house here. Um, I'm also thinking of setting up some farms so I've just laid out a few basic areas there for some of the ones that we've got already. So yeah that's gonna be it for this episode. Off air I'm going to maybe decorate some of the externals a little bit because at the moment it is very bland uh, but if not then I will see you all next time and Actually, I might transfer some of the more basic machines like redstone furnaces and... Actually, no, because then we need power. All right, I'll do that on our next episode. So, yeah, um, I'll see you all next episode when we will be adding one or two machines to this base because I've got a feeling it's going to need them. So, yeah, thanks for watching and I will see you all next time on Feed the Beast Monster on the PokeCraft server. So, see you all then. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.